I, I'm tempted to put together a collage yeah. of like our last eight of episodes like, of me saying, okay, this time it's going to be great. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know what I said last, but this time it's gonna, okay. Forget about the last two. This time. And <laughs> What's the old saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. Fool me 11, 12 times. <laughs> Clearly, I just enjoy the punishment. Welcome to the Two Gaming Dudes. All right, Skeleton Crew, the trailer dropped. Normally, we like, we'll play the trailer and watch it all together, but we figure by now you've seen this already. So Anyone that gives a shit has already and, and there's, watched the trailer. There's plenty of other channels that you, you can do that with. You didn't come here for that. Listen, I don't think this is going to suck. Okay, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth shut your mouth shut your mouth <laughs> i know what you're gonna say because i said the same thing about the fucking acolyte i said the same thing about ahsoka i said the same thing about a hundred this time i mean it i know and i said that too this time he's changed he's not gonna hurt me this time this time it'll be okay um, i'm glad i get to use that tina Tur turner <laughs> It, it's John Watts and Christopher Ford are the filmmakers. Yes. Okay. It's the guys that did Spider-Man No Way Home. It, yeah. It's the Miles Morales guys. It's going to be yeah. good. Okay. It's going to Every, be good. <laughs> everything I've seen about this... Okay. And I, I can't believe I'm going to say this because I hate myself for it. Everything I've seen about this gives me hope. Okay. And I hate it. Why? Well, I don't hate it. Because we've been I burned? Just, did, yes. Because I'm going to get my hopes up. And then I'm going to see it, and I'm so afraid it's going to do another Ahsoka and uh, and Acolyte and, and all of that. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that this is a really fun story. Even if it's geared at kids, I could still get into it and enjoy it. Just as much as I still enjoy the Goonies and the Explorers and Flight of the Navigator and yes. all of those. I, I, I could definitely still enjoy it. I'm glad you said all that. Because my, my initial reaction, we talked about this earlier, I said, 11-year-old me would have thought this is the coolest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. And I still feel that way. I feel the same. And But yeah, I can go back and watch Goonies and still enjoy the hell out of it. It's a... Uh, we're calling there's, it a kid's movie. Those aren't really no, kid's no, 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 movies. No. There's a big difference between a kid's movie and a family movie. They're family movies. There's a big difference. The biggest difference, I think, is if you sit and watch uh, Puss in Boots 2, The Last Wish, Puss in Boots. that is a family movie. It doesn't matter what age you are. You are going to enjoy the hell out of this. Yeah. Um, it, it, a New Hope was a, new it hope. a, family, it was a movie. family movie. Yeah. And it, you know, the, the series started getting darker and darker as the audience got older and more mature. That, they, did the same okay. with, they did the same with Harry Potter. You can watch Harry Potter the first right. one, and it's very, very kid-friendly. And then as you get going, and going, and going, I mean, it gets darker and darker and darker as you go, but everybody's getting older, including the audience. Yeah. It, it's not Blue's Clues, yeah. which is a kid's... <laughs> right yeah this this is for the, the entire family can like this which yeah. is the, at the heart of star wars it always was mm -hmm. and i know jedi had its darker stuff but it also had the ewoks yes. so <laughs> and, the, and the, the sequels yeah phantom menace was a family movie you mm -hmm. had jar jar and poop jokes and all that dumb yeah that's okay i'm okay with that what i'm a little bit nervous about all right just a little bit and i i know these guys these filmmakers aren't going to fall into this trap, I, I think. I hope. Star Wars, at its heart, you need Jedis and Siths and lightsabers. Right. We have and a, you need stormtroopers. Yeah. And you need X-Wings and TIE Fighters. Okay. You need those elements or you don't have Star Wars. I've, I've seen them all in the trailer. Well, the they thing is, all exist. this happens after Yavin. Okay. The, the Empire is destroyed. This happens after the Battle of Yavin and the second Death Star. Palpatine is dead. Okay. This happens after that. So I, I don't think we're going to see Stormtroopers. Oh, well... I don't think we're going to see X-Wings and TIE Fighters duking it out. You're, I don't think we're going to see... There's no more Sith. We're not going to see Jedi and Sith. I, I, I guess it depends. I mean, a lot of the extended universe stuff that came out talks about how there were always still these other Empire factions that just hadn't dispersed yet. Yeah. And they were doing a lot of cleanup. They basically turned into, like, you know, drug lords all over the place. But, yeah, you know, the cartel... And stuff. It was all just remnants of the empire. I don't know that. I thought was kind of neat. I don't know that that fits into explorers. Probably not. No. <laughs> so I, I don't know. But, it's it's going to be interesting to see how they come up with that. Yeah. But look, it, when we when we first learned look, there's going to be a 
Afro-Cuban Spider-Man named Morales. <laughs> that's dude, that's not Spider-Man. They found a way to make it work. Yeah. And, and make it really, really good. Yeah. Really fantastic. Good. So I've been burned. Yes. Ike has slapped Tina 13, 14 times. I think on the 15th, this will be okay. Even if, even if we don't have those elements that we talked about in any great number. Right. Even if it's just a fun, good action adventure series and it happened to take place in Star Wars, our complaint would be, I wish there was a little more Star Wars in it, but it's fun. But it's fine. It's, yeah. I still had fun. I wish it was more Star Warsy. I'll be perfectly fucking would, okay with that. I at would this be point. okay. I would be okay with fun. I really do want something beyond mediocre, but it doesn't have to be be like too far beyond that. I just want a step up from that. Well, what's the last you thing know, we got that was mediocre? It wasn't acolyte that was pure no, shit. No, I'm going to say the last ben thing Kenobi? we got. No, uh, the Mandalorian season three. Oh. Season three, all of a sudden, we're like, oh, we're starting to get mediocre now. It's, it's okay, like yeah. not, not as much fun anymore. It, it feels overdone. It's tough for me to it's... not conflate that with Bo Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. Which was sh also shit. That was just garbage. But yes, but... Mandalorian 3 was all right. very average. Yes. But it was never bad. The Mandalorian has never no. been bad. No, no, no. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of meh. Yeah. Okay. I can so so that. I'm, I'm yes. kind of hoping that we get more than that. But honest to God, if you deliver something that's at least meh, you're doing better than you have been. I'm excited, man. It I think it's going to be, be fine. Good. My hope is that because we're dealing with filmmakers who are experienced and have a lot of big yes. budget movies under their belt, that it's going to be kind of like, well, I mean, he did the, uh, the Spider-Man movie, the, the, you know, all of the... Those he, are big budget yeah, yeah. monster movies that did extraordinarily well. And he did a uh, a so, police a police movie with Kevin Bacon that was a financial catastrophe. <laughs> but it was during lockdown when nobody right. was going to theaters anyway. Right. I mean, no, they lost. Like, but anyway, my hope is that it's going to be similar to Andor, where you get an experienced filmmaker behind the screens. Yeah, and when you've got Disney bearing down on you, going, you should change it and do these things. Get off my set. Let me tell my story. Let me explain to you why that's a stupid idea. Yes. yes. Please let there be someone experienced on set that says, let me explain to you why that's really <laughs> stupid and why we're not going to do that. If we get that, I sincerely... Oh, God, I feel like... <laughs> oh, God, am I, I, know. I, just, am I just being a sucker I know, again? I know, I know, I know. It's It's hard. It's hard to get excited about Star Wars anymore because we've been burned so many times. I, I'm tempted to put together a collage... Yeah. Of like our last eight episodes like, of me saying, okay, this time it's going to be great. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know what I said last, but this time it's good. Okay, forget about the last two. This time, and have me eight. I don't have the wherewithal to do that, but. No, no. But, yeah. I sincerely, I really, oh, I, I know I said that last <laughs> time. I really think this one's going to be okay. And then by the last episode, you're, you're actually in tears. You're just sobbing. because like, This is so bad. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. So. No. I'm Hopefully not saying this is something that... what's going to save Star Wars. No. I don't it's, even need that gonna... now. Just don't don't compound the damage because the series or the, the whole franchise is in a very situation. bad it's, it's in a bad bad place. Bad spot. They announced more stuff coming. Their next movie is going to be called The Mandalorian and Grogu the movie. Yeah. I... And I was like okay, okay, I don't care. But that seems desperate. And... It does. Like, what's the last thing we had that was successful? <laughs> Make that into a movie, for God's sake! <laughs> so I feel like that is something... And Did they announce anything else? It was that skeleton crew and... and they announced shit and then cancel it later that day! <laughs> the Eclipse series, psh, gone! Yeah. Patty Jenkins' uh, Rogue Squadron, gone! Out. All this shit that's been announced, a lot of it is intentional. Like, they have no intent of making these crappy series. They just need <laughs> content to present to the shareholders at D23. Right. When they don't really have any intention of producing any of it. They need to up the stock price artificially. But look at all this new product we got coming out. Oh, and, and, everybody. Oh, hooray, hooray. And the no, share yeah, price is yeah, up, but it's, it's bullshit. I, I'm not... Oh, I shouldn't say I'm not concerned. I am concerned because they've shit the bed so many times. I feel sincerely confident. I know I felt confident about Ahsoka. <laughs> I feel confident. I feel confident. I, I, right. from what I've seen, I know what this is. I know what the tone is. Yeah, 
and at least with this one, you feel like, okay, so you've actually got a target audience for this. And it's one that actually exists. It's one that would actually want to watch your show. It's it's everybody. That's that's something, at least. I think all three of my kids are going to sit down and watch. Beat Root, of course. He's a Star Wars geek. He's yeah. going to watch whatever. But I think but the girls the... will like it, too. But that's the thing. Much like other family shows that have been really successful, you've picked a target audience. That age between 10 and 12, you guys are going to love this. But your parents are going to have to come along for the ride. So we've made it so that they would enjoy it too. Fine by me. And, and that's how you really bring in the, the mass crowd. Yeah. Yeah. So this could absolutely have mass appeal if they tell a good story. Fingers crossed. Because it could go... It could go bad in a lot of different ways. Do you have concerns? Because if you do, I'd love to know about it. Put it in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think. If you're excited for this or if you're like, I don't know. I will say one thing. Seeing like the American suburbia in a Star Wars setting for whatever reason was just like really disturbing to my brain. It's a little weird. Yeah. It was just weird. But not bad. I mean, it makes sense. It's an entire you know? galaxy. Right. So Somewhere it, there's a planet that has that evolved has to, suburbs. Yeah, to do I mean, this. No, no, no. It makes perfect sense. But for whatever reason, there was this part of my brain that like broke when I saw it. I was like, oh, that's a thing in Star Wars. I mean, yes. But that's <laughs> immediately relatable. Any 10 year old that watches this is going to yeah. see them. So, okay, that, that one's me and we're going on this adventure. Yes. It's okay, man. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it too. There's a lot I'm fine with so far. Yeah. Let me point out one interesting difference. Uh, they both come from Disney, right? Uh, they're two biggest yet most vulnerable franchises, Star Wars and Marvel. Right. And they both realize, shit, we need something desperate because these are both, we spent a fortune on these and they're both <laughs> dying because we screwed them all up. I need something big. What is going to revitalize this? They had this and I think it might revitalize it. It might. The the new Captain America, I could give two shits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. You know, Red I... Hall, I don't give a shit, buddy. I... Thunderbolt Rod, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't think that one's coming back. That's that I whole franchise. I, I worry I just, about that franchise too. I, I, I mean, mean, they're going to try everything to try to bring that one back and make it happen. You, but you did this multiverse I, time travel bullshit. You've destroyed it all, buddy. I don't care anymore. Your favorite character's dead. Ah, well, never, never, never mind. No, he's not. <laughs> Don is garbage. It was a, it was a pretty desperate act to bring back robert downey jr and be like oh no 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 you, you liked him remember there's a comic where <laughs> dr doom took tony's form to throw off the event so there it... piss off you're full of shit you've got <laughs> nothing and you're not fooling anybody we I'm, brought, I, I don't care we brought back an actor because god we're hoping that's going to be the thing that brings the audience back don't care no i, I really don't don't care but do we care about star wars i don't know it's rough I'm, I'm I'm hoping, but look after the acolyte. We were you, I, we were canceling our subscriptions after acolyte. I'm gonna watch this. Okay, we'll be there. Image it's coming out in December. That seems around like Christmas the, time. Yeah, there's always been a connection with yeah. Star Wars and Christmas time. All right, well, artificially <laughs> created, but still, <laughs> thanks to the holiday Christmas special. No, <laughs> it's always been. I don't know. Star Wars has always been a Christmas thing for me. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Again, we'd love to know your thoughts, so make sure you leave some comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, all that shit. And uh, great. Yeah, we'll see you in another episode. Later.